And once we get out into the sun, it should warm up a little bit, maybe? Will it? No, it turned to minus 10. <laughs> what the hell, man? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep moving. Oh, shit, there's a polar bear. Let's not even mess with him right now. And if we get that really bad uh, hypothermia buff, I think it was called, we'll stop and put the campfire down. Well, let's just get out of here. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and we have a polar bear right over there. I just actually killed one, too, right before I started the camera. And now there's another one. <clears throat> I really like this area. Let's see if we can get the drop on this guy. Oh, he's sleeping. All right, let's go. I need to get around for a headshot. Uh, the one I killed right before I s started the camera was a 78. I wonder why they like to hang out, though, in the forest region. Okay, here we go. Alright. That was really only one headshot and then two additional shots because he was moving around all right emperor of the ice highly aggressive yeah don't say all right so that's our third polar bear kill i think so far oh wow he dropped four raw prime meat oh man i don't i'm not ready to cook that um we okay yeah here Let's move. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm out farming uh, bones, uh, hunting, farming bones, and so forth for epoxy to make that next station. And it's just, this stuff is so expensive, man. And we're going to have to do some more copper mining, too, at some point. All right, we have everything. I thought I might have heard another bear up there. Uh, we just need 24 stone. We're not going to probably be able to get the first one, but if we could get the other three cooked up, that'd be great. Just get like a 15% XP buff. i almost certain I hear another bear up there. This is freaking polar bear alley, man. Okay, let's make this quick. And then we'll plop it right down here. <coughs> Keep our eyes peeled uh, over there for another bear all right let's put that in and yeah, you know what we might actually get that cooked all right let's get some actual wood i don't know if cutting wood attracts the critters or not we'll just be on our guard in case it does That should be good enough. We don't need a ton of wood for this. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get these cooked. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we get uh oh I get we get five percent experience gain, sorry. And then all those other pretty nice buffs too. Yeah, there is definitely another bear up there. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know how long these last once they're cooked. Uh, let's just cook all four of them up and then we'll see how they're doing. Also have my a dehumidifier with me just in case we come across a cave. But um, this is as far up into this little ice canyon area I've been. So it's basically right at the corner of K14 and L14. <laughs> and just really watch this area when you're new to the game because the polar bears, man, they they like to come down all the way into the forest. Uh, there he is right there. Okay, this gives us a nice long range shot. We just need him. Oh, he 
right behind a bush. I need to be able to get to his head. I don't need him to turn around here. Uh, Steam is offline only on... What? Well, that was a great time for the frickin' internet to go down. Whew, okay. We're still alive. <laughs> I don't know where that bear went, but... I, I mean, I'm, the animals are probably already set because we had to reboot anyway, but... Oh, man. Okay. The... Meat that I put... Oh! Oh, yeah, we went back in time a little bit. Here. Yeah, because it's back to the, f the fourth piece. It should cook before it goes back. Yeah, it'll cook. We're good. We got this. Really close, though. Here we go. Okay. Um, now, I have no idea if that animal's still there after we had to reboot. Let's just go take a look-see. You can hear them. They, they do their little kind of almost moaning, groaning sound. They don't make the same sound as the grizzlies. The grizzlies make a very loud, very noticeable roar. These guys don't announce their presence quite as as much as the grizzlies do. <clears throat> Which is a little bit scary because they're a lot more dangerous than the grizzlies. Alright, yeah, we lost that animal. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. Okay, well, maybe we'll run into another one. Uh, I'm going to go to the snow biome for just a little bit. We can't get too far in there because I don't have fur armor. But I just want to do a little hunting in there. Um, the wolves seem to be more plentiful in the snow biome, and you can see them. And you usually get like a bit of a rush of them. Uh, so it's pretty good for hunting. The XP and everything. All right, let's see where we're at here. Okay, yeah. So these <clears throat> these do don't seem like they go bad any faster than the normal meat does. All right, they just have to be cooked. So one more piece to go there. Got some watermelons down there, but I think I'm gonna leave them there until we come back out. So, yeah, let's wait for the rest of this prime to cook. And then we'll, we'll head into the snow biome for a little bit and just see how things go. Okay. Let's do some hunting up here and looking for more caves because we're going to need a lot more copper before it's all said and done. But epoxy is what I'm super low on right now, so that's why we're hunting for bones. Um, <clears throat> seems to me like I heard somewhere that there are avalanches in this game. Uh, if there are, though, there isn't enough snow on those hills for that to actually happen. Well, not in a real-life situation, anyway. So let's just kind of go back into the biome a bit. Um, all this stuff on the ground, for those of you guys who don't know, is ice. And you can pick this up, take it back, use it like for the ice box, which I never actually learned. Because we got the fridge now anyway. Uh, but it's all over the place, so you can just pick it up off the ground. Okay, so we got the cold buff, so we're going to have to be really careful here. Uh, why don't we eat this now? And we'll refresh these food buffs as well. Nice thing, like I said, about this bomb is you can see what's coming. You're not stuck in the in the trees.
I'm not seeing anything though, not even any wolves. That's unusual, because I've popped into the snowbomb a few times before, and there's like wolves and everything all over the place. I almost wonder if that little kick that we had screwed something up. Oh, did we just lose our buffs? Wait a minute, what? Let's, let's watch our fruit salad buff and see if it disappears. I didn't think the cold would do that to you. No, it's staying there. Was it weird? Okay. That's kind of scary sounding. Like unstable ice. <laughs> Our leather armor does give us some degree of warmth. But I... Something doesn't seem right here. I am super surprised we haven't seen any wolves yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go <clears throat> to that spot there and kind of peek over the horizon. And if we don't see any, oh no, there's a polar bear. Never mind, we're good. And he's nice and far away too, so we should have lots of time to take him down. Okay, here we go. Look at that, man. Nice. We wrecked him. I wonder how badass the shotgun is up close. I haven't had a chance to, to really use it yet. What's that? Oh, driftwood. Hmm. Uh, this was a level 25, so he was a little bit smaller than the other ones. I wonder what we use this for. The fur hide from the largest known carnivore on two planets. Huh, I don't know. We get a lot of bone from these guys, though, too, so they're worth hunting for that reason alone. Well, if we need driftwood for something at some point, we'll know where to find it. If uh, if a storm happens, we might be in trouble. <laughs> We really probably shouldn't go too much further than this, um, you know, because I'm not prepared for it. If we found a cave, I don't see anything out there. Uh, you know, we could duck into the cave if there was a storm. Let's just go see. That might be a cave there, that kind of gray looking area. In fact, yeah, it is. Okay. All right, so if, a, so if a storm happens, we can actually go in there. And I've got my dehumidifier. So we wouldn't have to worry about pneumonia, because getting pneumonia in this stuff, not good. What in the hell is this? Oh, wow, that's cool. It's like a big crevasse or something. This is really neat. <clears throat> that sounds scary, man. It sounds like an avalanche about ready to happen. Huh. Really cool, man. All right. I'm not going to grab any of these resources right now just so we don't get too weighed down. Having the dehumidifier in my inventory uh, already makes us pretty heavy. 
Uh, but let's go. Oh, there's another polar bear. All right, let's get over here so we have a good line of sight to him. All right, here we go. Shit. How is that missing? Especially with us. Oh, he sees us now. Okay, let's try the shotgun. Woo! <laughs> Shit. Um, I'm really surprised those first few shots missed. Because as you all know, you know, we get a little bit of aim assist when we shoot from a stealth position. I don't, I don't know. It seems like the rifle's doing a hell of a lot more damage than the shotgun did. I'm not sure about that, though. Oh, man, that noise just freaks me out. Like an avalanche is going to come. Okay. Bunch of sulfur out here. Um, we're probably gonna actually want to make a campfire in here so we can generate ash for the thing, uh, the dehumidifier. So let's do that now. And uh, we're gonna want some wood for it too. So I guess we'll just grab driftwood, which oh, okay, which just turns into normal wood. So I guess that's how you get wood in the Arctic you get driftwood because there aren't really any trees around here in case you didn't notice okay let's go to this cave it's a bit far away from our base of course so what we oh big freeze what we might end up doing is just grabbing the copper i got a full cabinet full of iron now and if we still have room for other stuff Maybe grab the high level ores like the titanium and the aluminum and that sort of thing. Give ourselves a clear pathway in here. Yeah, I don't know why we keep having connection issues. All right, where's the damn worms? Uh, seven. There we go. This looks like a pretty good size cave. All right, got another level. And we are now level 30, 37, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, yeah, getting in the water in here. It's definitely. Co oh shit, we've got a a deep a deep wound. All right, I have to use our suture kit for that. Oh, I wonder if the bear did that to us, actually. Probably did. And I just didn't notice it. All right, well, here. Let's, um... Let's set this down. Because the last thing we want is pneumonia in the Arctic Circle. That's no bueno. Uh, what was that? Where's this? Oh, we're cold, man. Okay. Here, quickly, get some wood in there and get some heat going. Now, uh, what is that? Hypothermia. All right. Is this warming us up? I hope so. 
Good thing we have a ginormous health pool, huh? <clears throat> okay, um, yeah, let's just, let's, we gotta stay out of the water, man. Absolutely gotta stay out of the water, it's a thing. It isn't in subsistence <laughs> in the winter time, but it, not, I mean, it is actually in that game too, but not like it is in this game. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, we are slowly warming up. Yeah, we, we, we need some fur armor. You know what, actually, I didn't even learn fur armor. Do we get any kind of temperature protection from our composite armor? Didn't even think to look at that. Plus five cold and plus five heat and plus six exposure resistance. Okay, what? Uh, what is our leather giving us right now? Plus seven cold. Okay, so, and plus three exposure resistance. So the composite stuff gives us two less cold, but three more exposure. Interesting. Okay. Not exactly sure what that means. What other kind of exposure is there besides heat and cold? Something we're going to have to think about for sure. Um, we're probably just going to have to, you know, if, if we can't def can't do the fur armor, if it comes down to it, we can't afford it. We're going to have to probably just have heat sources with us. What does this give? Plus seven cold resistance. Um, oh, polar bear. Plus eight cold resistance. Requires talent blueprint polar bear armor. Ooh, maybe that's what we should be going for. Look at <laughs> look at the helmet. That's awesome, dude. Oh, I love it. Where is that teledat? Uh, it's probably in survival. Uh, where would that be? Polar bear armor. I don't see it. Lucky strike. Friend of the trees. Hunting, cooking. Hard to detect when in stealth. Uh, I don't. I don't see it here. What's it look like again? Oh, that just shows a book. Where else would it be? I mean, it doesn't make sense that it would be in combat to me. Huh, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to figure that out. But we might not be able to... Yeah, those are all the solo ones. Oh, I wonder if that's a workshop item. I'll bet you it's a workshop item. Okay. All right. Well, um, <clears throat> there's got to be a way, I would think, there's got to be a way in this game that you could survive in the Arctic, you know, without fur chest armor. Maybe. I don't know. I am not sure. Here, let's put some more of this in here. And let's get some, actually, some meat in here, too. I'm going to eat another cooked prime rib and another one of those, another one of those, before they go bad. And we might as well cook up all of that meat. And we don't need this stone, so let's drop that. Up the sticks. We'll put our anti-parasite. I don't think we need the fiber for anything either. And we don't need the ice. I just was showing you guys that. Okay, so what we're going to do, especially since we got a storm now, is we're going to grab we're going to grab copper. We're gonna, that's what we need more than anything else. 
Um. Oh look, I'm icing up, getting away from the thing. Okay. Probably can't stay away from it for. I don't know how long I can stay away from the fire before I get that debuff again. This is brutal. Oh, I wonder if it's because of the storm. It's minus six degrees Celsius, which is colder than hell. All right, well, let's warm up. I think what we need to do is. As soon as this storm's done, just GTFO. I don't want to be here at nighttime. So we're we're not we're not equipped for this, and I do not want to die. So we'd lose like a whole level, and that's they're, they're getting harder to come by now. Um, okay, so we warm warmed up. Let's grab this copper real quick. that okay warm up warm up warm up I don't know maybe it's just cold as hell in the cave itself in the in this environment or maybe it's the storm that's causing it storm shouldn't be affecting anything at all in the cave but you know you know how video games work sometimes how much fuel do we oh crap that's gonna be a problem Oh, uh, Houston? That's going to be a problem. Um, here, pick up the stick and the fiber again before they disappear. We have 138 fiber. I mean, it'll go through it quickly, but if it'll last long enough for us to get past the worst of this storm so we can get out of here. Uh, either that or I could try and run out and grab some more driftwood like super fast. Not, I'm not going to do it in the red, <laughs> in the red part, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this was probably not the smartest move for me to uh, come into the, this far <laughs> into the Arctic not unprepared. I mean, it was a nice warm sunny day when we came here, right? Oh, that isn't going to last long. Fiber's going to go even quicker. Alright, well. Can I burn these? Let's see. Nope. Okay, get that back in there quick. I'm sure we can't burn bones. I wouldn't think so anyway. This might turn into uh, make a run for it and get back as close to the forest biome as we can before we die scenario. Oh man, this is not good. So yeah, we're going to have to look, you know, I mean, we're going to be doing some polar expeditions of, or um, prospects, of course, so we're going to have to figure that one out. Maybe we should spend some points on for armor. I don't know. That's five points, though, but I don't know, dudes. Um, what about, like, what about, like, heaters? I know there's certain heaters that we can make. Uh, maybe the pop belly stove actually is a heater. It says, you know, it says that it is, but you can actually cook with it, too. But it says a wrought iron stove for heating. If we do, you know, stuff in the in the ice biome, we just take that with us, set it down to warm up when we need to. Of course, you know, the campfire probably works for that too. Maybe not during a storm, but uh, for tier three, you know, the thermos would be good because we get heat resistance. Oh no, it provides the cooling modifier. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want that. What if what if we're putting something hot in there though, like coffee? I don't know. There's a biofuel stove. That's a cooking thing though, it's not really a heater. Um
I don't know. Uh, there is a T4 heater, but I think it's electric. Right? Uh, is there? Wait a minute. Yeah, there's this, but that's got to be... I'm sure that's electric. Yeah, a powered heating device. So that's not going to help us when we're out in the... Out in the Thule's. Okay, we're down to 64. The storm is passing. It is getting late, though, so we, we got to make a run for it, man. We just got to get the hell out of here, and hopefully we don't run into any polar bears in the process. I'm not even going to try and grab any more ore. We just got to go. Um, all right, so let's re-eat again just so we can fully top out our buffs. All right, well, the temperature is back up to, like, 4.6. So that storm was definitely what was causing the extreme cold. It just seems weird that it was doing it inside of a cave, but... Uh, Alright, I think we're ready to go. I'm going to take this fire with me. Because we might need it again, and it's not going to be easy for me to make a no another one. So let's lay that down there. We'll pick up some driftwood... Um, as needed. Okay, let's grab this. And get the hell out of here. It's an adventure, man. Here, I want to grab a few of these right now just so I have them. Okay, let's go. Getting the little frost thing along the edge of our screen, so if it gets really bad, we'll stop. See, it's minus 8 right now. Son of a bitch. And once we get out into the sun, it should warm up a little bit, maybe? Will it? No, it turned to minus 10. <laughs> what the hell, man? Okay, well... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep moving. Oh, shit. There's a polar bear. Let's not even mess with him right now. Uh, let's just keep moving. And if we get that really bad uh, hypothermia buff, I think it was called, we'll stop and put the campfire down. But let's just get out of here. When I, when I said I was going to go hunting in the snow biome, I, I meant just right inside of the snow biome. <laughs> like, all the way into it. Uh, but it was kind of cool to see it, though. You know? Okay, come on back, stamina. We need you to get us out of here as quick as possible. Getting close, guys. Getting close. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for bears. Well, maybe we can buy that polar bear armor from the workshop. Uh, of course, there's a storm coming in. Oh, for Pete's sake. Well, at least we're out of the snow biome. Um, let's, we can actually run down into our other cave. It's just right around the corner here. For that, so. Whew. I was starting to get a little worried there, man. I was starting to get a little worried there. Where's the cave at? Oh, I think it's down on the next ridge. Yeah, it's down here. Okay. Can we jump down here? We don't want a broken leg. No sorry, Bob. Ooh, that was close.
Oh, our fire's still going in here. Shut up. Man, I must have really put a bunch of wood in that thing. <laughs> okay. Anyway, all right, you guys. I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, oh, I put coal in there. All right, here. Let's take the coal and put some wood in. Um, Yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was pretty exciting. Not the smartest move on my part, but hey, you guys, are, I'm sure, were entertained, and that's the important thing, right? Um, and so, yeah, I still have a lot of grinding to do. Um, cause we got to make 60 more electronics for the furnace. And then, yeah, we still going to need electronics for some of that other stuff too, but we can't make the composite stuff until we get the furnace. So I'll keep working away at it. I will bring you guys back with another update at some point. Um, I'm not expecting there to be too many more episodes on Argos exploration. Uh, we still have 22 days left, of course, but there's no way we're going to spend that much time uh, on this one prospect. Um, but there will probably be a few more. And then um, I'd like to get you know get going, though, on, on trying out some of the other prospects. Uh, we spent a lot of time here, and we got leveled up, and I think you know that's going to make the prospects uh, um, you know much easier to do. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I haven't experienced more than just a couple of them so far, so we'll see how things go. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.